The Granite Bay Grizzlies have clawed their way back into the Division II title hunt. The eighth-seeded Grizzlies upset Whitney in the semifinal game. Big upset. Yeah, that was a huge upset. The Pacers are the three seed earning an appearance in the title game with an upset over Elk Grove and are just one win away from a section title. The game played at Golden One Center on Friday night is our second Sun Power Electric game. Our Parker Ream was there. Parker Ream here at the Golden One Center. It all led to this point right here. Both teams, Granite Bay and Grant, making it to the finals with upset wins in the semifinals. We start on Granite Bay's side. Look for Jakub Mir to continue getting buckets for the Grizzlies. As for Grant, Rashad Brown has been balling out all year. Expect him to have a big night for the Pacers. You guys know the drill. It's Grant taking on Granite Bay at Golden One in this week's Sun Power Electric Game. Pacer fans showed out in style Friday night for the D2 championship game, and they were rewarded with an awesome game. First quarter, Luka Davis gets a start in the scoring column. The layup through the contact, and Grant getting off to a fast start. But just as I said pregame, we knew Jakob Mir would show up. He drives the lane and lays it in for the response. The Grizzlies would keep their foot on the gas. Trevor Alfstead gets it on the wing and pulls up for the mid-range jumper. That one's good. Then on the other end, Rashad Brown answers, driving to the basket and finishing through the contact and one opportunity, and each team is trading buckets early. Fast forward, 14-9, Grant Zaid Sharif inbounds it to TJ Mavidi, and he does the rest. That jump shot is pure. Pacers led 14-11 after one, but Granite Bay came out swinging in the second quarter. Great ball movement up the court. Mir finds Sharif in the corner, and he knocks it down for the three. Granite Bay went on a 14-2 run, but Grant wouldn't back down. Rashad Brown drives in, and kicks to Luka Davis for the three-pointer. Granite Bay takes a five-point lead into the half. Third quarter now, Josh Tigner doing work in the post, trying to keep his team in this. He gets the lefty shot from the post to fall. The Grizzlies already the Cinderella story of the D2 tournament. Shots from TJ Mavidi sure help that cause. Then later in the quarter, Rashad Brown gets the steal, turning defense into offense. He slams it home. We're tied at 36. Into the fourth quarter we go. The deciding quarter. Jason Matthews with a clutch floater with five minutes to go. The Pacers were hyped. The crowd was chanting, ring us, with over two minutes remaining. You guys know better than that. TJ makes them pay. Part of his 15-point night is that jumper, and the Grizzlies trying to mount a comeback. But when they needed him most, Rashad answered. He gets up for the block with 20 20 seconds left, which sets up Jordan Bobo's full court pass to Brown for the easy flush. And that'll do it. The Grant Pacers repeat as Sac Joaquin section champs. It, it means a lot. I love my guys. I love them to death. They like they're my brothers. If it weren't for my guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. I love them to death, and I'm just glad I can enjoy this moment with them. We run the north.